guys, Tisha, welcome to Talk Time. We are going to cover Bitcoin today, the basic of Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? It is digital dollars. It is something that you can have the effect of because it can be used to purchase stuff, but you cannot see Bitcoin. You cannot physically have it in your hands because it's a virtual and it is valid it is valid how do i know it's valid well first of all when the sec sued coinbase bitcoin was not listed so that shows all of us that bitcoin has value everywhere all over you see people accepting bitcoin people are buying real estate all over the world with bitcoin even though china outlaw cryptocurrency people who have bitcoin if they're suing in china they go to court and they recognize it. So Bitcoin is something that everybody's going to have to know about. It's going to be like real estate. It's digital asset because it has value and it can give you monthly income. People are making monthly income from Bitcoin, either by flipping it, buying or selling it, or by staking it where they put it on, let it out and they get like interest on it. We'll talk about that in another show. Go ahead and subscribe. So now that I explain to you what is Bitcoin, how do you not get scammed because of Bitcoin? Because I'm sure you heard about the scam. There's this thing called blockchain. We'll talk more about blockchain, but blockchain helps us to trace where the Bitcoin is going. So that is why it's beginning to be more legitimized because of the technology that's coming around. So here's a little history on Bitcoin. When Bitcoin just came out, the person who created it, they wanted us to mine it. And mining caused a lot of electricity to burn. So people were mining Bitcoin back then. But then the electric bill was high and then climate change came in and people were like, we got to cut back. So rather than cut out Bitcoin, people came up with a valuation. So there's now a new valuation for Bitcoin and that's what has value. Also, three entities that have Bitcoin or promote Bitcoin, they also promote cryptocurrency and digital currency and NFT. Those are all in the virtual space, the eco space of the internet. So when they created Bitcoin and the valuation, we saw tech companies coming on, we saw banks coming on, and we saw government coming on. So we see three major entities coming on that gave Bitcoin momentum. And that's why you don't have to look at it because the US dollar is weak. You know, a hundred US dollar cannot full a tank for a whole month anymore. You know, you cannot use a hundred US dollar and say, I'm going to drive for a whole month with a car. It's more like $300 a month. So when you see things like that happening, you have to run from the dollar. And one of the ways people run from the dollar is by hedging themselves against it, is by putting money in Bitcoin. Now, I said earlier, Bitcoin fluctuates. It goes up and down like any cycle. So you got to know when to time it. You know, you can see it as low as 23,000 or even lower and high as 68,000 or even higher. So you have to figure out when to get in, when to get in, you know. So you don't need a lot to get in. 500, 100, you get a digital wallet digital wallet so why am i talking about bitcoin because you anybody can own bitcoin with even 500 dollars, you can convert your money into bitcoin by having an app a digital app like for example i'm on coinbase okay so yeah i i have bitcoin you know i i'm in the financial world and i just want to you know diverse myself so i have a little bitcoin in probably 500 i got it monday for twenty four thousand. it's now at thirty one thousand. so there is a stretch i didn't put twenty four thousand in that's the price of one bitcoin i put a fraction in 500 so you could buy a fraction little pieces of bitcoin it is magnificent because you get to hedge yourself against the dollar and the interest rate is ridiculous if you do that shaking where you get to lend out the Bitcoin or put the Bitcoin in and then they give you an interest rate. So we've got to talk Bitcoin. Bitcoin is definitely it. So now I told you the history of Bitcoin. I told you how to mine it. Then they couldn't keep mining it. So now they created a valuation for it. And then we know that recently Bitcoin now 
the Chicago um, in America, they're part of the Chicago Exchange Board. So we know now that Bitcoin is now legitimate. So this is now legitimate. Bitcoin is now a legitimate digital currency because it's been recognized all over. China outlawed Bitcoin. That's correct. China outlawed all digital currency, but 60% of the people in China, they all are using some form of digital payment. Understand that. Number two, the people who own, the Chinese who own Bitcoin, if they lend the money out or they have a dispute, they can go to court because there was another, I think it was Litcoin. Someone in China had Litcoin, which all cryptocurrencies were outlawed in China. And the person with the Litcoin litigated in the Chinese court and the court recognized the digital currency. Okay. So courts are recognizing digital currency. We see people saying Bitcoin. I'm in New York in the Hamptons. I went to eat today with my, my kids. I saw a sign B Bitcoin taken. I'm selling real estate. I'm a realtor in Florida. I see people asking, can I buy this property in Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is part of the trend. It's just another currency. It's just that you cannot physically possess it in your hands because it's a digital currency. But how much time have you physically possessed currency in your hand these days? Most of the time now, we're using the internet. And because we're using the internet, we're using some form of digital payments. I like Bitcoin because I can use it to pay anybody in the world. I think to myself, I can literally have an online business because I've always had an online business for the last 30 years. And now with Bitcoin, I can pay people anywhere in the world. So it's like, uh, because because of sanctions, we're not able to do business with certain people all over. This game has to be done. We've got to be able to, commerce is now on the internet. There's a desire, there's a need for Bitcoin. The ecosystem created Bitcoin, the need and the desire to do commerce on the internet. Two billion people per month go on YouTube, okay? Two billion. Two billion people are surfing the internet per month. What are they doing? I call it the road. It's like a road. It's a virtual road. And guess what? They see money, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. They're seeing e-commerce building. What are you doing? Invest. And I tell everybody, there's ways to invest on the internet to make money digital assets, digital currency, online business, social media. You could buy $500 of Bitcoin, get yourself a digital wallet. There's so many digital wallets. I'm using Coinbase. Coinbase is being sued by the SEC. I am not afraid of the SEC suing Coinbase because Coinbase to me is a legitimate company. I haven't seen what the SEC, see. all cryptocurrency cannot be legal because we know that some cryptocurrency have value. There are people there that are actually working, doing sweat equity to bring it to us. So that's how most cryptocurrency is made. It's made from people putting, it's not like it came out of thin air. People are actually physically staying in front of a computer and doing something to bring it to us. So for people to say that cryptocurrencies cannot have value, what did those people do with their time? What were they working for? Why is it on the internet? Why am I able to do so much more with Bitcoin than I can with the dollar? So we got to think about stuff like that and recognize the value of Bitcoin. Blockchain, just remember that. We'll talk about it next time. But one of the reasons that Bitcoin is legitimized is through blockchain. Just think of blockchain as a ledger. That's all you need to know. It's a ledger created. We can now trace the Bitcoin. So that's what legitimized Bitcoin how can you benefit from Bitcoin? Well, if you buy it and you buy it low, sell high, that's number one. Number two, you could either you could buy and flip, or you could buy it and then loan it out, call it stake in, and then you charge a percentage. They give you a percentage APR. So let's say you have you only put five hundred in five hundred dollars then they'll probably pay you. You've got to find the digital wallets that are paying for the skating because there's so many digital wallets. I cannot recommend any of them to you. I just know that there's a lot of legitimate digital wallets out there. And we know that over the time it's going to get better. We know YouTube is creating an NFT. We know that JP Morgan and other banks are recognizing cryptocurrency. Banks are investing in cryptocurrency. So we know that 
there is a lot of legitimate digital wallets out there. And yes, so you get a digital wallet, so you purchase it, and then that's buying it, buy low, sell high. That's how people make money. Number two, you could use Bitcoin to start an online business because then now you are open to commerce anywhere in the world. And at that point, you could be able to do a virtual team. So that's why some people use Bitcoin. They use it to open business and to pay workers all over. Now the thing they use Bitcoin for commerce. You can buy things on the internet with Bitcoin and sometimes your MasterCard don't work, your credit card don't work, Bitcoin work. So you can buy things overseas using Bitcoin, which is a savings. So that's one of the ways Bitcoin is saving people money. And then another way is the skating, as I talked about skating, I'll just put it up there, where some digital wallets, they allow you to, they, you don't liquidate your Bitcoin, they have it, and then they pay an interest on it. That's called passive income. So, digital asset, Bitcoin. I know you can't feel it like the dollar or the, you know, you want to hold on to currency, but I got to tell you, after COVID, a lot of us are comfortable now using digital payments on the internet and you know bitcoin is one of those things so you don't need a lot even though it is 31,000, you can buy bits of bitcoin because of digital wallets you know like i told everybody i'm putting 500 on monday 500 dollars. that's what i did and i tell people i don't agree that you should pay off your debt and then invest i believe you should invest and pay off your debt at the same time i helped one of my clients it's been 24 months now. She's put away $100 a month. Then she went up to 200 a month. That's 24 months. She's got 10,000 saved already. So I'm just trying to show people that there is power in numbers. Every little make much. So go ahead, call your local bank, go on the internet, find somewhere that you can put money away to save. Look into Bitcoin, even $500, just 500 bucks of Bitcoin. Don't put 10,000 in. Put a small amount in. I know you have debt, but what if the Bitcoin go up? You know, that's also how I look on it. So you have the the um, savings, Bitcoin, and then you want to look for mutual funds or stock market stock. If you're not comfortable, go to your local bank. They have so many products for you to start saving and investing. So that's the number one way of getting out of debt. I'm Tisha. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. Take care.